You stated in your written testimony that you first made a request for the Capitol Police Board to declare an emergency and authorize National Guard support on Monday, January 4th, and that request was not granted. That is correct, ma'am. Your testimony makes clear that the current structure of the Capitol Police Board resulted in delays in bringing in assistance from the National Guard. Would you agree with that? That's yes. one of the things we want to look at. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, do you think that changes are needed to make clear that the Capitol Police Chief has the authority to call in the National Guard? I, I certainly do. I think in an exigent circumstances, there needs to be a streamlined process for the Capitol Chief, uh, Chief of Police, for the Capitol Police to have authority. Okay. And Mr. Stanger, do you think that reforms are needed to the structure of the Capitol Police uh, Board to make that clear? I think uh, a review of the Capitol Police Board and their statutory authority is probably a, a, would be a good time to do this now. Uh, there, there's a lot of statutes out there in the Capitol Police Board that go back many, many years. Uh, things have changed and it's probably uh, to make uh, the board a little bit more nimble. It's probably not a bad time and an idea to take a look at what's there. Uh, it's probably an understatement with what happened, but thank you. Uh, Mr. Irving, your views? I would certainly agree with both Chief Sund and Michael Stanger. I think a review would certainly be warranted at this time of, of the Capitol Police Board. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.